Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand about the sign magnitude representation. So we will see that how we can represent negative integer numbers or you can say sign numbers using the sign magnitude representation. So let's see. So we have already seen in our previous video about the three different representations for the negative integer numbers. So first one is sign magnitude representation. Next is one's complement and last is two's complement representation. So in this video, we are going to understand more about the sign magnitude representation. So let's see. So to understand this sign magnitude representation, let's take an example. So here we have the number as minus 13 and this is a decimal number. Okay. So we have to convert this minus 13, this integer number into the binary form. Okay. And we have to convert this decimal number into binary form using the sign magnitude representation. Okay. So how this sign magnitude representation actually works? So the process is first we have to understand two things. There is a concept of magnitude and another thing is sign bit. Okay. So here you can see in minus 13 we have the negative sign. Okay. And this 13 you can say this is the magnitude. Okay. So this representation says first what you have to do represent this 13. Okay. Represent this 13 in binary number. Okay, so you know that we have the weight as 1, 2, 4, 8 and now if I want to convert this 13 into binary form then what it will be? So it will be 8 plus 4, 12 and this will be 13. Okay, so these 8, 4, 2, 1 these are like the weights. Okay, so in my number system video you have seen that that how we can convert a given decimal number into binary number. So in that way I have convert this decimal number into binary representation. So 13 is 1, 1, 0, 1, right? Now, the last bit that is MSP bit, it is reserved for the sign. Okay. So, here you can see this 13 has the negative sign. Okay. So, this sign magnitude representation says that this MSP bit will be telling us the sign of the number. So, this 13 is negative. So, I will put here 1 to represent that this is a negative number. Here you can see that if I am putting 0 at this last bit, then that means the given number is positive. But if we are representing a negative number, then I have to put 1. Okay. So this 1 is telling me that this number 13 is a negative number. Okay. So you can say these bits, they are representing your magnitude. Okay. And this one is representing your sign. That is, this is a negative number. So I put 1. Now let's take one another example. Here the next number is plus 13. Or you can say this is a positive number. Okay. So again, the process is first we have to represent 13. So how we can represent 13? So 13 is again same 8 plus 4, 12 and 1, 13. Okay. So these bits are telling me the magnitude of the number. So magnitude is 13. Magnitude, you can simply say that the value of the number. So 13 is represented as this one. Now the last bit is reserved for the sign. So plus sign means I have to put 0. Okay. So here I will put 0. So this 0 is telling me that this number 13 is having the positive sign. Okay. So this total is a positive 13 in my sign magnitude representation. So here you can see in case of minus 13, the only difference is that we have to put 1 in case of negative number. And in case of plus 13, we have to put 0. Otherwise, magnitude is same. Okay. Now let's take another example. So next number is minus 45. Now to represent this minus 45, again, we have to first write the binary form of 45 and then at the sign bit, I will put a 1. Okay. So this is the binary representation of 45 that is 1, 0, double 1, 0, 1. And these are the weights that I have written for your understanding just. Okay. So now last bit, we have to represent it for the sign. So this minus means I will write 1 here. Okay. So total how many bits are there? You can say there are total 7 bits which can represent this minus 45 in total including the sign bit. So you can say these 7 bits they are representing minus 45 or you can say this is the sign bit and this part is telling me the magnitude. Okay. So in this way the sign magnitude representation works. Any given decimal number can be converted very easily to the sign magnitude form. Now let's take the another example. Now here we are doing the opposite thing that is 
we are given the binary numbers and we have to convert those binary number into the decimal number using the sign magnitude representation okay so how we will do that so here you can see that in case of sign magnitude representation as we know that last bit it is telling us the sign of the number and all the rest bit they will be telling me the magnitude of the number okay so this 1101 is how much so this is simply 13 you can say 1 2 4 8 8 plus 4 12 plus 1 13 so this is you can say 13 now it will be positive or negative so you can see here it is 0 and 0 means that number will be positive so that means this will be plus 13 okay so this 0 double 1 0 1 is a positive 13 if we treat this 0 1 1 0 1 as a sine magnitude form so you can see here also that this plus 13 was 0 double 1 0 1 okay now let's take another example so next number is 1 0 double 1 0 0 so here you can see that this number is having the last bit that is the sign bit as 1 so that means your number that will be coming into decimal form it will be a negative number okay and what will be the magnitude so for the magnitude we have to take these bits only we can say 1 2 4 8 8 plus 4 12 so that means magnitude will be 12 so this representation this binary representation is telling me that the number is minus 12 okay now let's take one last example so here you can see again we are having this number and this number is having the last sign bit as 1 that means the number will be negative and these bits will be telling me the magnitude so again what is this number so this number is actually 52 you can convert them okay 1 2 this is 4 8 this is 16 and this is 32 32 plus 16 plus 4 it will be 52 and this is a negative number as this bit is telling me okay so this is minus 52 okay so again you have to take care that only these bits are telling me the magnitude that is 52 last bit is not telling me the magnitude it is only telling me that this is a minus or negative number okay so with this understanding let's move forward now let's understand the concept of range in case of sign magnitude representation so let's say we are given two bits and if i ask you in two bits how many different numbers in binary form you can make so here you can see with the help of two bits you can actually form four different combinations okay 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now if i ask you convert these binary numbers into decimal numbers using the sign magnitude representation so you will say that this last bit is zero that means this number will be positive and this zero is actually telling me the magnitude so zero in decimal is also zero again here this zero one is telling me that number is positive this zero is telling me positive and one is the magnitude so it is actually one in decimal number okay now here both the numbers are having the last bit msp bit as one that means both the numbers are negative now this is telling me the magnitude so this is zero and this one is telling me that the decimal number will be one so i have got four different numbers plus zero plus one minus zero minus one now you will see that here we are having two different representation of zero we have the plus zero minus zero plus zero is having zero zero and minus zero is having one zero so we will see in the upcoming videos that this is actually the drawback of the sign magnitude representation in normal mathematics plus zero and minus zero they are actually one and the same thing okay but in the computer we have the different representation in case of sign magnitude so for the time being let's move forward so here you can see for two bits what will be the range range means how many different numbers you can form using the two bits so here you can see we have the four different numbers okay so the smallest number is actually minus one okay and what is the largest number out of these four numbers that is plus one okay plus one so it means from minus one to plus one i can represent any of these numbers using the two bits in case of sign magnitude representation okay so if we draw them on the number line you can say something like this is minus zero this is plus zero this is plus one and this is the minus one okay so these four numbers are the different numbers i can uh, represent using the two bits okay so this is the range minus one to plus one these are the numbers allowed now let's take another example let's say we are given three bits now how many different numbers we can make so we can actually make total eight different numbers from zero zero to 
one one one. These are the different combinations that we can make. Now, if we convert these binary numbers into decimal number using the sign magnitude representation, then we will see that these are the different decimal numbers that we can get. So here you can see this zero is telling me that number will be positive, and this zero zero, if I convert into decimal, it will be zero. The same way, all these four numbers, all these four numbers, they are positive. So I put positive, and this zero one is telling me that this is one. One zero means two, and one one means three. Likewise, these four numbers will be negative. Why? Because last bit is telling me the sign, and it is one. It means all the numbers will be negative. And again, these will represent the magnitude, so they will be zero, one, two, three, and all will be negative. So for these three bits, what will be the range in case of sign magnitude representation? So you can see what is the largest number. So the largest number is actually plus three, right? And what is the smallest number? You can say minus three. So from minus three to plus three, all these different numbers I can represent using the three bits. Okay. Now if I ask you how many different numbers can be represented or allowed if we are having the total n bits. So for n bits, the range is actually minus two to the power n minus one. Then this is minus one to positive of again the same thing. So for example, as you can see here, if n equal to two. Then I should get minus one to plus one. So here you can see that I will be having minus. Then this n is you can say only two so two minus one minus one, right? So this is the first number. And what will be this? So this will be two. N is two minus one again minus one. This is actually two minus one. It will be two to the power one minus one. And this will be again two to the power one minus one. So this is actually positive. And this is having negative, so this will be two power one minus one. It will be one. That is minus one, and this will be plus. So again, we have got the same thing, right? Now, if we apply this formula for the three bits, then you can see I put three in this formula, and I got minus three to plus three. So here you can see two, three minus one minus one, and again positive signs here. And here you can see this will be two to the power two minus four, four minus one. That is three, and minus means minus. And this again same thing that is plus three so minus three to plus three that means we have got the same thing so this is the formula that you can use to tell that how many different numbers you can represent using the n bits in case of sign magnitude representation now before ending this video let me ask you one simple question how many different numbers can be represented using the eight bits that is you have to tell me the range for n bit numbers okay so you have understood the formula just now so you can pause the video and you can find the answer first by yourself so i hope you have got the answer so as we understood that for n bits this is the range okay now if i put n equal to 8 in this formula i will get this and if i solve this i will get this that is 8 minus 1 means 2 to the power 7 okay now if i solve this i will get minus 127 to plus 127 because 2 to the power 7 is actually 128. So 128 minus 1 will be 127, and here we have the negative sign. So that means from minus 127 to plus 127, these numbers are allowed if we are having the 8 bit. Okay. So you can see that let's say you are having a register inside the CPU of 8 bits. Okay. So that means minus 127, then minus 126, then minus 125. And so on from zero, one to last one twenty six. All these different numbers we can store inside this eight bit register. Okay, so this is the meaning of the range. So as you can see here, minus one twenty seven. If I convert them into binary form using the sign magnitude representation, then it will be this one. So here you can see this is minus. So I use one. Okay, for this sign, and these bits are telling me that this is one twenty seven. So this is minus 127. In the similar manner, if I have to represent plus 127 into sign magnitude form, then you can see 127 is being represented by this part. Okay, and last bit this is zero because this number is positive. So this is like positive 127. So both these numbers minus 127 plus 127 and all the numbers between them also they can be represented in eight bits. Okay, so these are the total eight bit including the sign bit. Okay. Now someone may ask that, can I store plus one twenty eight inside it? Although the range is plus one twenty seven, 
can I not store this plus 128 inside it? So you know that inside this, the binary representation is stored, right? And the plus 128 can be represented as this way in case of sign magnitude form. So this plus means I have to put zero as the sign bit and the last these eight bits are telling me the magnitude that is 128. So total there are total nine bits I will require to represent this plus 128 in sign magnitude form. So here I have the register of the size eight bit, but how will I be able to store these nine bits? So what will happen? Only the eight bits will go here. That means only these bits. These bits are stored here. And if someone asks that you have to interpret these eight bits in sign magnitude form, then how you will interpret? So you can say that this last bit will be telling me the sign. So this is the negative number as it is one. And all these seven bits, they will be telling me magnitude. So it will be zero. So it is minus zero. So this will be treated as minus zero. Okay. So if you are storing this plus 128 in case of 8 bit register computer, you will get minus zero as the output. Okay. Although you were using plus 128 in your programming. So the main point that I was telling here is that for plus 128 to store, you need a big register. Okay. So due to this, your answer may come wrong. So here you can see that these eight bits or you can say these eight bits, they were getting represented as minus zero. But in one's complement and two's complement, these bits will be telling me some different decimal number that we will see in the upcoming video. So I hope you have understood that how we can represent a given number into sign magnitude representation and how we can interpret a given binary number with the help of this form. So if you have any question, comment, suggestion, please write down into the comment box and please do like and share this video. Also subscribe the channel for further notification and you can find the full playlist of the number systems and the data representation in the description below. So let's see you in the next video of the ones complement and the twos complement. So till then, goodbye.